And in the morning, rising up a great while before day, he went out and departed into a solitary place, and there prayed. I come to the garden Welcome to your Devotional Digest with Pastor Damian Chambers, bringing you inspiration and education to strengthen your devotional life. Precious Father, once again, we count it a wonderful privilege to be awake and alive to see a new day. As we start this day with reflection upon your words, we ask for understanding and we ask for the presence of the Holy Spirit to be with us and for receptive hearts, so we pray in Jesus' name. In the next few devotionals, we'll be looking at starting a relationship with Jesus. And this morning, we are focusing on the work of the Holy Spirit in this process. A relationship with God is a divine appointment. Before we think about God, God thought about us. Therefore, as we contemplate starting a relationship with Jesus, we should recognize the work that goes on even before we do or say anything. The Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit cooperate to make our salvation a reality, even before we take any actions. First, Jesus chose to die for us before we had any sense that we need him. Romans 5 verse 8 says, But God commended his love towards us, in that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. Jesus did not ask if we are worthy. He gave his life to make us worthy. Like the prodigal son, long before he chose to return home, the father had forgiven him and made provision to receive him with open arms, if and when he chose to return. Secondly, the Father draws us to himself through Jesus Christ. In St. John 6, 43 and 44, Jesus says, Murmur not among yourselves. No man can come to me except the Father which I have sent me draw him, and I will raise him up at the last day. Finally, the Holy Spirit works over time to impress our hearts with a sense of our guilt and need for Jesus. Nevertheless, Jesus says, I tell you the truth. It is expedient for you that I go away. For if I do not go away, the Comforter will not come unto you, but if I depart, I will send him unto you. And when he is come, he will have reproved the world of sin and of righteousness and of judgment. St. John 16, verses 7 and 8. The Holy Spirit is the one appointed to reveal Jesus to the world. That is why it is such a dangerous thing to resist the promptings of the Spirit. Today, the Bible says, if you hear his voice, harden not your heart. And Jesus also said that all manner of blasphemies will be forgiven against the Son of Man, but the blasphemy against the Holy Spirit will not be forgiven. Our duty is simply to cooperate with the divine agencies. We will be led to acknowledge, confess, and repent of our sins, and be led into a relationship with Christ. Our quotable quote for this morning comes from the book Steps of Christ, page 21. The heart of God yearns over his earthly children with a love stronger than death. In giving his Son, he has poured out to us all heaven in one gift. The Savior's life and death and intercession, the ministry of angels, the pleading of the Holy Spirit, the Father working above and through all, the unceasing interests of heavenly beings, all are enlisted in behalf of man's redemption. In our prayer focus this morning, we pray for our teachers and our schools. Let us pray. Our Heavenly Father, we are so grateful once again for the privilege to call upon your name. 
we present ourselves to you, Lord. We, f- we thank you for the work that goes on by the Holy Spirit, by the Heavenly Father, by the Son, for our salvation, and even the ministry of holy angels. This morning, Lord, we pray for our teachers and for our academic institutions. These are the places where our nations develop leaders for tomorrow. Oh God, these are the places where our young people develop values to live by. We pray, oh God, for the success of these institutions. We ask for wisdom on behalf of the teachers who mold young minds, that they may have the strength, oh God, to do in a right way. Bless our schools, give vision, provide the resources, and protect our young people by your grace and by your mighty power from all evil influences. We pray and say thanks in Jesus' name. for listening. Join us next time for Devotional Digest with Pastor Damian Chambers on NCU-FM 91.1, 91.3, and 91.5. Has it-